Hey guys, this is Miso here. Welcome to my kitchen today. Come on in here. I want you to see what I'm gonna be doing. Today I am making, now I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you. Today I'm making something really good though. Take a look at this. This is poke salad, y'all. Poke salad. Yeah, this is the stuff you see growing around in the country, uh, in your yards. You know, it'll just, it'll just really grow everywhere. And you don't usually see it in the city, though. But any place that's kind of out and kind of rural, you'll see a lot of poke salad. Now, you see these red stems? Uh, you don't eat that. That's poisonous. So that's not what you eat. Sometimes these red stems are darker than this, though. They're almost like burgundy. I haven't had this stuff since I was a kid, and my grandmama used to make it. All my uncles and most of the family love this. So you see that I've cut them all off and got them stacked up here, and I'm going to go ahead and begin to wash them. Now, I'm going to wash them really, really, really good. I'm going to make sure that everything that shouldn't be in here is out. So I'm washing them like two or three times here, and after that, I'm going to stack them up. Look how pretty they are. They're just so pretty. Oh, yeah, I'm going to roll them up like they're a cigar, and, a cigar, and then I'm going to uh, begin to just cut them in some little wheels. I'm just going to cut them up. You know, I really love washing and cutting and preparing greens. That's just a time that I can relax and Feel like I'm back in the country in the good old days. <laughs> a time that makes me feel peaceful and happy. So I'm just going to cut some more of these up. You don't need to see me do all of this because it's not rocket science. So you just cut yours up and uh, get them in a pot. Here's what I have here, my pot. And I'm going to put some water in this pot. And then I am going to get it on some fire and bring it to a boil. I'm going to boil these for about 25, 30 minutes. Something like that. Just let it come to a nice rolling boil, baby. Then, you know, these need to be washed and rinsed again. We want to rinse these at least about three times. What I want to do is I have this standing in this colander, and I'm just running water over it and just making sure that everything gets out of it. I'm putting them back in the pot. I'm bringing them to a boil one more time, and then here is the final rinse. Just kind of making sure everything gets out of it. We don't want any of that juice in there. So I have some bacon here and then I went on and fried this bacon. Got a lot smaller after I fried it. But I'm going to leave the pan just like it is and I'm going to add some red onions. I'm going to add these uh, chopped up jalapeno peppers along with the seeds because I want mine to be sort of kicking baby. I want mine to kick a little bit. If you don't want that in yours you don't have to do that. Uh, I'm going to put some chopped up bell pepper, some red and some green pepper. And um, if you ever go out to the country, you got somebody that lives out in the rural area, just kind of get them to point out the poke salad to you. I'm putting in some minced garlic. And then you can follow these instructions and get you a nice dish of poke salad. They're really good. Very interesting. They don't taste like collards or turnips or kale or any of the stuff that we're used to eating. So here I'm going to squeeze these out because next I'm going to fry them and I can't have them soggy or wet. I want them as dry as possible. Now you can put these in a tea towel or in something else and squeeze them out. But mm, miso, miso is just going to take them and just squeeze them out of my hand because I don't have that many of them. So I'm just going to squeeze them out here, getting as much of the liquid out of them as I can. Mm -hmm. Something about doing this just makes me want to sing and hum. Just makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so this is my last little handful, and I'm going to squeeze out all the liquid out of this. And uh, then I'm going to get it into the pan. All right, in this pan, I've got this all these ingredients that I just showed you. I got them sauteing, and I'm going to add some black pepper to that. Got to have a little pepper, baby. Then I'm going to come back with some, just some complete seasoning. I'm going to get a little bit of everything in there. So just a few sprinkles of complete. I'm going to put in some oregano. Mmm, 
in that bacon grease. So here I have a mix of pink Himalayan uh, salt and just some regular kosher salt. And I um, just putting that in. Got to put in some uh, granulated onion powder. Oh, this is going to be good. I, I wish you could just smell what I have going on already. And this is some garlic powder. Even though I already have the minced garlic in here, I'm going to put in some garlic powder. Now, if any of these spices are too overpowering for you and you know you don't like them, if you don't like them, don't put it in. Don't ever put in anything that you don't like. This is one of those dishes you can have it your way. You can do whatever you want to with this. You can have it your way. Put in the things that you like. I'm going to put in just a little bit of butter here. This is probably uh, a, a tablespoon. I didn't measure it. But this is about a tablespoon of butter. And now I am going to get my little balled up poke salad. <laughs> I like saying that, poke salad. But anyway, I'm going to get my little poke salad and put it in. You can see that it's dry. There's no liquid. And I didn't want any liquid in here. And then I am just going to stir this well. And I am going to get it all combined with my little ingredients. Now I took it up here and got it in this bowl. Now I want you to look at this. It's got all these seasonings in here. And I'm going to taste it for you. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. very, very good. Very good. If you're ever out somewhere and you see this stuff, get somebody to help you with it that kind of knows what they're doing and try it. Guys, I thank you for coming by to see what I was doing today because you knew I'd be throwing down and I hope I did not disappoint. Uh, if you like my channel, I want you to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit that notification bell. That way you'll know every time I put up a new video. Give me a thumbs up. That's real important. Share my videos wherever you're active on social media. And leave me some comments for God's sake. Because I love hearing from y'all. I love to hear what you're thinking. And when you tried my recipes and they worked out for you, I want to hear about that. How did they work out for you? Let me know. I'm always on the lookout for the comments. And guys... I am so excited. We are revamping this channel. Yeah, we're making some great changes around here. I've got some merchandise that I am dying to share with you guys. It is beautiful. It's very high quality. And you guys are going to love it. Also, if you're looking for me, look for me at uh, TikTok and Pinterest and Instagram I'm on all those channels. Me so making it. Come and check me out and subscribe to me. Meanwhile, honey, be good to yourself. Be good to somebody by sharing your love. The way you do that is sharing your food. Bye-bye.